In this episode of Shorts, we meet Lauren Williams, a rising star in Taekwondo. She's an Olympic silver medalist and a double European champion. But this girl from Wales has ambitions to dominate for years to come. The journey to the Games itself is it very emotional. But what was the best day of my life it was also like one of the worst. That's what kind of gives me that little bit of fire to go and get it. When you land the perfect shot and it hits some clue in the face, I love it. Oh my God, it's so satisfying. That's like those little moments you train every day for. And then when it does connect, it's like, yes, it's such a big relief. So I set out to become Olympic champion. I'm not there yet. So I don't want to leave this sport until I've got a gold medal. <laughs> As with all top athletes in Great Britain's Taekwondo team, they all train here at GB Taekwondo HQ in Manchester. One of these athletes is Lauren Williams, the 24-year-old from Wales with huge dreams and aiming to have a massive impact on the sport. Combat and fighting have always been part of Williams' life, starting in kickboxing as a child. But it was another Welsh athlete who inspired her to change sports over a decade ago. I did kickboxing from the age of four up until around 13, 14. Um, I was on holiday with my family and we were flicking through the channels. The Olympics happened to be on and it was Jade at the time. The last kind of 10, 15 seconds of a fight, it was that moment my dad turned to me and said, is this something you want to do? And I was like, of course not, of course not. Fast forward a couple of years, GB Taekwondo put a, a trial out where they asked athletes from different sports to come and try Taekwondo. I came up, did the trials, and I joined the team a couple of years later. Taekwondo had some similarities to kickboxing. I just loved hitting people and kicking people, and the Olympics was a, a big you know, factor that drove me towards Taekwondo. I love combat, I love fighting, that's what I grew up doing. Uh, from the age of four, that's all I've known, and any time I got myself into trouble or whatever, it was like, figure it out, work it out. So an independent sport, an individual sport, I think this has just been perfect for me. But Lauren's start in Taekwondo was smooth, but only because her parents made it so. My family kind of split up uh, initially. My mum came to move to Manchester with me and my dad stayed in Wales. We lived in a caravan. We pitched a, a touring caravan on a, on a site up in Manchester. My mum, bless her, she gave up work and took a career break for two years while she came up to Manchester. We left half my family in Wales, it was crazy. My family literally pumped everything into me financially as well. So my mum used all her inheritance, my dad used everything and working a second job as well. For me, it was great. I was just living this dream, you know, training on the Olympic team. And while I found it exciting and thrilling, obviously I didn't realise the impact it had had on my family until years, years later. Ever since she was scouted, a path to gold was set out in front of Williams. So when she qualified for the Tokyo Olympics in 2020, the golden dream was very much alive. But the young fighter found out that the course to greatness can have its setbacks. Gold wasn't achieved, but the silver medal in her first Olympics was a massive achievement for the then 22-year-old. At that time, just making the team was the biggest achievement of my life. To know that all the sacrifice that my family have put in throughout that last however many years is, is worth it. The journey to the Games itself, it was very emotional. It's kind of hard to sum up. Moments of it have been phenomenal. Getting the medal, incredible. But what was the best day of my life was also like one of the worst. I learned so much about myself as a person and learning to overcome things, overcome barriers when things are not in your control. The biggest thing it taught me is not to take anything for granted, so the whole journey is not promised. Moving on to Paris, I don't look at the Paris Olympic Games go, I want to get a gold medal. It's like, I really want to enjoy this process because I know that that's not guaranteed and I know even going to the Games isn't guaranteed, so I want to get that gold medal, obviously. That's what we all go out there for, but I'm determined this cycle, the biggest change I've made is to make the most of the journey and enjoy what I'm doing now and like really and truly be present because I know it's not guaranteed. How do you remember that particular experience of putting that around your neck and standing on the podium? What, what do you remember from that? I was exhausted. I think that's the word to describe it. That day, 
the most emotionally draining day ever. And I remember standing there with a medal. I didn't quite didn't quite sink in. It was the Olympic medal until that night where I watched it back on telly. And I was like, whoa, I've got to let him like it's that medal. On the podium, I was just exhausted, gutted, tired. It's weird when I pick it up. I don't really have any emotional attachment to it. It's kind of just another medal. And for me, it's not the medal I wanted. So it's a bit like, all right, cool, but it's not the gold medal. I'm very good friends with the girl that won gold. Obviously seeing her medal, it's like, I'm not gonna want that. I nearly had that. And that's what kind of gives me that little bit of fire to go and get it. The fundamental building blocks of the sport of Taekwondo consist of point scoring. Yes, of course there are knockouts, but point building is key to success. But the perfect shot isn't always easy to come by. But during a fight in Manchester, Lauren executed the perfect kick to the head, and it's a moment she hasn't forgotten. I absolutely love it. Honestly, it's so deceiving how, how hard it is to land a shot in our sport. When you land the perfect shot and it hits them clean in the face, I love it. Oh my God, it's so satisfying. That's like those little moments you train every day for. And then when it does connect, it's like, yes, it's such a big relief. I, I kicked it and then like, I punched the air. I was like, yes, I can't believe I just landed that. And it, it happens in competitions as well. If I land a really good kick, I'm like, like yes. It takes a lot to, to build that up and to build that pressure. And I love it. It's cool. It's cool to watch. It's interesting. It's unique. You, know, you don't see people kicking each other in the face on the street. It, it's what makes the sport exciting. And you know, it is dynamic. It is fast and people do get knocked out. It's quite fun. The pinnacle in Taekwondo is the Olympics, and the next one in Paris 2024 is highly anticipated. But with many events on the horizon, Lauren is keen to keep a lid on her excitement and make sure she gets the ranking points available to compete in France. Sometimes you can get so caught up in Paris, you lost what you're meant to be doing now, so I don't want to take every moment for granted. And I'll do the best I can right now. Paris, if it happens, it happens. When I'm there and it's my time, I'll make sure I do everything I can to get a gold medal. But until then, it's what I do in the build-up that really matters. If I get that qualification letter to say, all right, you go in the games, I already know that's going to be like one of the most exciting days ever. Does it help that you've been through that process once and you actually know what that, that path looks like? You, you can't get more real than the Olympic final, so I've already been there, I've done it, which makes me excited to go out and do it again because I, I know what to expect, but this time I really want to enjoy it. But have no doubt, this talented athlete's ambitions have always had an outcome and Williams won't rest until she's reached the top. So I set out to become Olympic champion, I'm not there yet. So my ultimate goal is to become Olympic champion. And if I do that, I want to become an Olympic champion in two weight categories. So I've got big ambitions, big dreams, but I'm backing myself to, to do it. I don't want to leave this sport until I've got a gold medal. 